Sorrelt wins 1000 meter relay gold on big day for Canadian short track speed skaters, Dordrecht, Netherlands. Courtney Sorrelt won gold in the women's 1000 meters, then joined the relay team for another podium topping performance on the final day of the season ending World Cup speed skating event in the Netherlands, Dordrecht, Netherlands. Courtney Sorrelt won gold in the women's 1000 meters then joined the relay team for another podium-topping performance on the final day of the season. Ending World Cup speed skating event in the Netherlands Canadian skaters ended up with five medals overall on Sunday. Kim Booten of Sherbrooke, Quebec, and Fredericton's Ricky Doak added silver and bronze in the women's 500 and Montreal's Pascal Dion earned his second 1,000 silver medal of the weekend. Sorrelt, from Moncton, NB, rebounded with a winning performance in the 1000 in a time of 1 minute 32.93 seconds after finishing fourth in Saturday's 1500. She moved from fourth place to first in the second part of the race, passing Belgium's Hanna de Smet from the outside before overtaking Suzanne Schulting of the Netherlands, bronze, 1 minute and 33.137 seconds, and Gilly Kim of Korea, silver, 1 minute and 33.037 seconds, from the inside to grab the top spot. It was Sorrelt's second 1,000 gold medal of the season and secured her second place in the overall rankings with 776 points. Before the race I was pretty tired, but really tried to mentally get into my rhythm and just race my race, Sorrelt said. I felt no leg pain when I was making the pass, so I'm really happy I had enough legs for it. I'm really excited about my second overall finish in the Crystal Globe ranking. I wasn't sure at the start of this year if I could get a high ranking, but I'm happy that as the year went on I just got better and better. Schulting, 1,062 points, clinched first overall and captured the inaugural Crystal Globe trophy as the World Cup's top female skater. Canadian skaters swept the women's 1,000 races on the weekend after Bouton finished first in Saturday's event. Later, Sorrelt, Bouton and Doak teamed up with Renee Steenge of Brampton, Ontario, to win women's relay gold. The Canadians picked up speed with seven laps remaining and never looked back, coasting to their sixth medal of the season in 4 minutes and 13.541 seconds. Hungary, 4 minutes and 15.134 seconds, finished second, while China, 4 minutes and 15.201 seconds, was third. In the women's 500, Bouton crossed the line in second place in 42.301 seconds, while Doak was third in 42.397. World record holder Xander Velzebor of the Netherlands broke away from the Canadians after a blistering start and won gold in 42.02. I knew I had the potential to make the podium, so I'm happy I was able to show what I'm capable of, Doak said. I felt good the whole race, and it ended in a good way. It was super special to share the podium with my teammate Kim. In Sunday's men's 1000, Dion worked his way to the front of the pack with two laps remaining but was unable to defend an outside pass from South Korea's G1 Park, 1 minute and 25.359 seconds, in the entry of the final turn, settling for a second-place finish, 1 minute and 25.514 seconds. Italy's Luca Spechenhauser, 1 minute and 25.619 seconds, rounded out the podium. I was aiming for the gold medal so that I could finish first overall in the 1000M standings, but, Park, had a very good race and took advantage of my loss of balance to pass me in the final lap, Dion said. Dion and teammate Stephen Dubois finished the season in the top five of the overall World Cup standings, ranked third and fourth, respectively. Park was crowned the winner of the men's Crystal Globe after topping the standings with 1,068 points. This report by the Canadian Press was first published February 12, 2023. The Canadian Press